Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be making some bone broth from a whole chicken. My whole family's feeling a little under the weather. You might notice my voice is a little off. So we're gonna make some chicken and rice soup cause that makes everybody feel better. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be starting the process with a whole raw chicken. If you prefer, you can go just get like a rotisserie chicken and just shred the meat off the chicken and then you can use those bones. And then you can use those bones for your broth. But I like to do it this way because I like the meat that I get off of it. It's better ingredients. Um, I'm not in the place where I can afford to get the um, nice organic home-raised chickens. But um, eventually we'll probably raise our own. So um, this is where I'm at right now. So this is really the best way to get the most bang for your buck when you're um, buying chicken. Because this chicken is um, a little over five pounds. And it costs $10. Yep, it's five pounds. If you go to the grocery store and buy like good quality bone broth, you can get like a small quart for like seven or eight dollars. So we're going to get about four cups of broth from this chicken. So if you make it this way, you're definitely coming out ahead. And then you also have like a couple pounds of really good tender chicken. OK, so we're just going to take everything out of the center here and then we're going to put our chicken breast down in our instant pot. And then before I forget, you want your trivet to be in here. So you want your bird on top of the trivet. Okay, so one cup of water here. And people like to come at me for not seasoning my meat when I cook it in bulk like this. But if that's you, then go ahead and season your meat. I am going to season it when I make it with a meal. Um, so if you just want this meat for like salads or something and you want to add some like onion powder and garlic powder and things like that, then go for it. But I'm going to put this in a soup and I'll just season the soup. So I'm not going to double season it. I have had good luck with six minutes per pound. So since this is a five pound bird, um, I'm gonna do five times 30, which is 30 minutes. And so I'll do the pressure cook for 30 minutes and then start. And that part is really as easy as that. So we are off to go grocery shopping. And when we get back, this will be all ready for us to shred and we'll have bones for making bone broth. All right, so we just got back, and so I have my whole chicken here. It's just been cooling off, and I'm just gonna start shredding it and putting the meat into a Ziploc bag, and then I'll put the bones just right back in the Instant Pot, and we'll do the bone broth. So depending on what I want to use this for, sometimes I will just cook a whole bunch of chickens and do it this way and just have a bunch of um, ready-to-go shredded chicken, and that's perfect to put on salads or in casseroles or just to have on hand for when you need something easy and quick. Um, but today I did want to make some chicken and rice soup, so I'm just going to shred this and I'm not going to freeze it, I'm just going to use it right in the soup. Anything that is not meat can just go right back into the Instant Pot. I also want to mention that I've done the same exact process with uh, leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. My husband had smoked the turkey and I made turkey broth from the turkey bones and used the rest of the meat in the soup and it was the most delicious soup ever. So um, definitely can do this with turkey as well. Don't just feel like you can only do chicken, but look at all this delicious meat that I'm getting. And this just sat on keep warm for like six hours while we were out grocery shopping and it is perfectly delicious and tender and moist. So I have like a pretty good size half gallon zip up bag here of chicken meat and then I have the chicken bones and I also just left the juice in there from that one cup and we'll add that that's just extra flavor and then I'm gonna uh, rough chop one onion but then the rest of the onion peel is gonna go in there because that's actually gonna give your stock the nice dark brown color um, that you want from your chicken stock this is a time where you can just like clean out your fridge. Um, so you can add celery, carrots, and all of that is just gonna be great flavor. And I will also add my salt right now, but um, we can salt to taste at the end as well. The thing that you can do is when you're cooking onions for a recipe, you can just put the peel into like a Ziploc bag and put it into the freezer. All your other scraps from like your veggies, your celery, and things like that, you can just put in the freezer. And then when you're making bone broth, you don't have to do all this chopping, you can just dump it in. Then the last thing you're gonna do is you're going to fill with water until you're covering all the bones um, and the veggies. I usually get to about the max line on here um, and then just call it good. All right, and then the only thing left to do is to put on your lid here. And then we're gonna do manual pressure for 90 minutes. 
All right, and the last step is just to have a strainer and a bowl. Don't be a rookie and forget the bowl or your broth will go down the sink. And then just pour it out. And then I like to double strain it and put it through like a finer mesh strainer as well once you get out all the big bones. All right, and that is it, you guys. You're left with this beautiful, dark, rich broth. Um, and so I'm going to make some chicken and rice soup with this. If you're not going to use it right away or you're not going to use all of it, I do like to freeze them in one cup um, servings in my super cube. So I'll link those in the description. But um, that is really it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about it. This is something I do all the time. I really enjoy having fresh broth made. Um, it's really soothing for the gut and helps with inflammation and then it's also super nice to be able to make your own um, broth for soups and casseroles and things like that so if you guys like this sort of content i'll definitely keep doing lots of tutorials like this um, so like this video and subscribe if you are interested and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching